Oh, now they're playing. Now they're playing. All right. We have, we have liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. We have liftoff. Uh, here we go. Uh, we are starting with E5 coming from Gensync. And uh, let's hope this game goes better than the last. All right. Starting out strong with uh, uh, e e four e five uh, knight uh, knight f three knight c six knight c three and we're we're getting like a solid opening here. Um, I like it. I like it from both players. Um, we have the three knights here. Could have the four knights if uh, if ironic decides to bring out her other knight. Um, but otherwise, this uh, this don't look too bad. This don't look too bad for either side. Just make sure you don't play a move like. Well, that's fine. Yep. So uh, bishop b4 here. Uh, can attack the knight. You can trade off the. If you can trade off here if you want. Um, not that. You can trade off here. Uh, if uh, if white decides to go a3 here. Um, knight d knight to d five would be uh would also be an option here, um. That would uh, put the bishop in a bad spot, and it would kind of pin this queen to here. Uh, as if the queen moved, say queen moves uh to g five, the the knight then would just be able to come in here uh and it would fork. The rook and king, uh. However, we get uh. The bishop out to f4, uh, which is fine. Um, it opens up the ability uh, to castle for Gensink here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, black, uh, knight to d5 is strong. It's a, it's a fork on the, uh, uh, the queen and the and the bishop there on uh, d4. So be aware of that. Um, yep, and there it is. Uh, queen probably should move somewhere like uh, uh, c5. Possibly just move back um, uh, to uh, d8, d6. There's a couple options here couple of options actually do not move here because then that's a actually no you can't do that because the bishop knight takes c7 um yes i don't completely disagree with that um and yeah like it doesn't have like this Knight is protecting here, so it's not the end of the world to, to come back to d8. Um, now, uh, this is, this is fine. Um, c3 is winning. Um, oh, that blunders your, that blunders your knight, dude. That's a that's a night blunder. So, Jensink, I guess not realizing that the queen can take there. Um, and now black uh, black in control. Um, I'd like to see this knight come out and then castle uh, kingside for black. As for as for white, um, put some pressure on uh, on this uh, on this bishop. C three also gives the queen an open diagonal to get out. Yep, and there is c3. Um, bishop should probably drop back uh, e7 uh, or c5 would be the best options. Um, 
dropping it back to either of these uh, would would have would give open diagonals for both. Um, you don't exactly want to do this because you do this. Pawn comes up here, um, and then you're kind of trapping yourself up here on, on that square. Uh, instead, elects to go to uh, d6, um, kind of blocking it off of uh, off of a diagonal here, uh, blocked by the pawn. Um, now white should just probably castle. Uh, you can castle. You can actually go d4 here as an option. So d4 uh, takes takes. Um, what rating is this? These guys are very low rating. Uh, 400 and 475. Uh, yes, both IMs. If you're coming here looking for good chess, you've come to the wrong place. Especially if you saw the last match, which was even worse than this. By miles. Absolute miles worse. So, uh, uh, D3 instead. Um, we have uh, probably Knight F6 is uh knight, knight f6 uh knight to uh uh knight to a5 put pressure on the on the bishop here um doing this at least would give uh give time to castle yep and there's knight uh knight to a, uh to f6 uh now black can potentially castle on the next move just yeah, last last match has to be seen to be believed. There there is uh, nothing I can say about that match that I I straight up just may make them replay it because ugh. this sounds like a professional comment professional commentating coming from someone who probably hasn't played much chess but is a professional at speaking. Thank you. I will take that. I am absolutely not a great chess player, but uh, I have done I have done commentary work in in other uh, other esports, so I guess thank you for that. Um, this is not in any way designed to be super super professional, so just bear that in mind. If it was going to be professional, I would have hired I would have hired someone actually you know good at chess. Uh, <laughs> um, so there's the castle coming from White. Uh, Black probably should also castle here. Uh, move, move ten isn't isn't uh, isn't too late to castle at least. Um, uh, it gets your it gets that uh, rook in in towards the middle of the board potentially, uh, getting onto that e file. Same thing here uh, was the idea for white. Black is in a winning position here. Um, you know, the taking taking that uh, taking that knight uh, earlier um, here was a uh, was a good move. Although now, b4, and that forks the queen and the bishop. Now, is this is this going to be seen here by Jensink? That's a, that's a question. GMs play all the same moves. It's, it's true unless unless you see uh, unless you see Hikaru playing the bond cloud against Deronian. But you know, we can't we can't get that every time, unfortunately. <laughs> all right, so uh, bishop. Uh, uh, or rather, knight comes out here to uh, to g5, and uh, castling here is uh, is black's best option. Um, or moving the queen back is an okay move, uh, but mm, take there. That's protected by the by the knight. You get a free pawn out of it. Um, you can also try pushing b4 anyway, you know, push that, push that bishop back. Honestly, this is, this is a little better for white, uh, despite the fact that black is technically down, or white is technically down material, um, but white is in a better kind of attacking position here. Um, that's a f that that wins the rook. That wins the rook. It's supported by the queen. I I don't think I don't think she'll see it. 
but uh, let's go over. Oh, she did see it. She sees it. Wow, what a move from Ironic Cannibal. And she's cleanly winning here. King's got a move. You win the Rook. Wow. Beautiful move here from Ironic Cannibal. Take the Rook. That's... That's winning material. You, you know about this. We talked about this. Uh, let's uh, let's go over to see what she's thinking right now. She's uh, being a little quiet over there, very much focusing, and she moves the pawn. She moves the pawn. Oof. Save this rook. If you're if you're Jensink, you gotta save this rook. Rook f1. Uh, I don't think it's disrespect, gonna be quite honest with you. I, I know these players, I don't think it's disrespect. Um, yeah, so, so I don't know what Jensink's thinking here. He probably should think about moving his over. Um, let's see what he's thinking right now. Oh, God. Oh my gosh, I'm taking way too long on these moves. I, I just gotta... I, I just gotta move. I took... Oh, I took over a full minute. Oh, I'm... Oh. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, I think he saw that he, he just blunders his work again. Um... And uh, there's a castle. Uh, still, I just and and good point. A good point that Jensink made about his time. He's down below four minutes. We're on move fifteen. Um, just uh, he he needs to play faster. Um, he also needs to make sure that his rook isn't just sitting here. Um, rook e2, rook f1, something, anything, uh, move, move the rook. The computer says that, that the pawn here take is winning, but honestly, take the rook. Just, just do it. Just take it. It's right there. It's sitting pretty. Oh my god, lots of <laughs> lots of young left moves in this tournament. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Oh my god. Uh Ironic Cannibal now down below five minutes on her clock. Uh just <sighs> I I do wanna for anyone who, who is, did miss the last game. This is still better than last game. This is still much better than last game because at least at least this has the idea of you lose your bishop for a rook, whereas there were moves last game where it was like you straight up win a piece for free and they just did other things. How are they so low on time and have this many pieces? It's because we're only on move 15.
And again, this is still better than last game in this position because, like, 15 moves in, there had literally only been three pawns off of the board. So... Uh, you could start playing for time. Absolutely. You gotta make moves. Now I run a cannibal down around three and a half minutes on the clock, and... I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't... I don't know if I ever knew. I... I don't know. I don't know if I should have ever have known. 3.15 on the clock. You have... You gotta make moves. You gotta make moves. And this is the very obvious move. I just... She's just sitting there, thinking. Deep calcs. There's no, there's no mating sequence here. There's no mating sequence se here. By ironic, just play your pieces. You know. Uh, G4, fork the knight and rook? You mean, you mean this, where you just get taken back with the pawn? I mean, at that point, you may as well just take the rook. I just, if, if you're saying H4, but at that point, just take the rook. Um, all right, so we get two more moves out. Uh, Jensink playing faster, uh, plays that move in 13 and a half seconds. Uh, Ironic Cannibal needs to play faster. She spent 3 minutes and 16 seconds on that last move. If she does that again, she will lose on time. Yeah, he's gotta be going for flag. I, like... You, got, you gotta make moves. I... Take it, please. Ah! So much action. So much time. Um, she, Ironic Cannibal now down to a minute and a half on the clock. She is aware there's a clock. Play, plays the pawn up. Uh, Rook F1 is winning, is slightly winning for, for white. Really is, um really is kind of just an open position at this point. Like, it's even. But in any case, Jensink can probably just move fast and and flag because at the rate Ironic Cannibal is going, she just spent another minute on that move. Ugh. Rook b2, bishop takes e1 is the play. All right, ironic. I talked to you about this. You know about you know about the idea of the points. How a rook is worth more than a bishop. Trade it off. You can do it. You can do it. I, I believe. I believe. I really shouldn't believe. She's missed it like three turns in a row. She missed it again. Ironic Cannibal now down to a minute three on the clock after that move. Um, remember, this is a 10-5 game, so every move that is made uh, will add five seconds to the clock. They started with ten minutes. Again, Jensink... That time he just takes the bishop. Great. I don't know how she missed that, that many moves in a row. Um, White is cleanly winning on the board and on the clock. Uh, this is just... Yeah. Um, don't, know, don't know what else to say about it. Uh, and this... 
Uh, knight takes on f7, is protected by the bishop here, um, attacks the queen. At, at the very least, white white just needs to move and force black to make decisions. I can see why you wouldn't want to move this piece because it looks it looks like you're down material here. Um, I get it. Okay, plays bishop e3. Um, down to 40 seconds on the clock for ironic. Thirty seconds on the clock. She needs to make a decision. Um, so let's go over to her stream. See if uh, she's thinking anything. She moves the uh, she moves the pawn up. She's down to she's down to twenty seconds on the clock. Um, Jensink now down to a minute and a half. Uh, really, he could just sell out and play fast and try to flag. Um, he decides to he decides to push pawn to a four. That's fine. Um, ironic cannibal down below fifteen seconds. I don't know if she realizes. I don't know if she realizes. That's timeout. That's game. That's game. Now she realizes she's out of time, and that's all she wrote. Uh, we're gonna try to get. Uh, we're gonna try to get both these players on for a uh, post-match interview. Uh, in a second here, in the meantime, uh, stick around. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. 